Well, where, where are you going to be on July 1st? For thousands of you, the answer, you know it, it's Memorial Park. Yes, the reason is pretty good, not just free music, but the likes of Kenny Loggins plus fireworks. Mm, yes. That's going to be a good show. Bob Dalrymple is with the Bank of the West, which puts on this whole celebration from the Food Bank for the Heartland. Angie Grote is here as well. Hi, Thanks welcome back. Our annual Morning. visit. you got a, you got a right. big show this year. We We're did. very excited we about did. this. Mm -hmm. How did this all come together with Kenny Loggins? Well, uh, we've been... Uh, Chasing him for a number of years. <laughs> We've been trying to get him for a while. Huh? We have, we have, uh, we, and we thought we had him last year, and then that didn't work. But uh, obviously, we had a good show. Yeah, uh -huh. Persistence um, has paid yeah. off, though. Yeah. yeah. It did. So why? What was it about him uh, that you? Well, obviously, yes. Well, I don't want to date myself, but I first heard him back in 1970 something. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> did you see him live? So, <laughs> I saw him four times when he was with uh, Loggins and Messina. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. And you said at some point, because oh, this is, you love bringing these artists in that have broad appeal. Yes. Um, and of course, Kenny Loggins does. How many people are you expecting for this show? Any way to forecast that? It's always hard to say, but somewhere between 50 and 70,000 people. Mm -hmm. show up. It, it, it sounds great. He does it? sound amazing. Yeah. He's one of the best songwriters of all time, not just Footloose, but man, he's written so many great um, mm -hmm. uh, songs. And then you, well, there's going to be local bands, uh, one yes. local band that's taking the stage as well, mm -hmm. and we know very well yeah. around here. You want to uh -huh. talk yeah. about them for well, a second? Well, Finest Hour, uh, they're a local cover, cover band, uh, and they're led by Nikki Boulet, who uh -huh. I think uh, is a co-host. She fills in when I'm away quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, we love yeah. Nikki. So we're excited for that. And then uh, we've got the Dylan Bloom Band out of Lincoln. And so this is the first year that we've taken a couple of local bands uh -huh. and, and made them part of the show. Well, you opened up a contest a handful of years back right. to add, add this element to it. Why was right. that important to you at Bank of the West? Well, certainly social media is becoming more and more important. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, so we did that for five years mm -hmm. and got some really good exposure to it. But, you know, I think everything sort of runs its course after a while. And we'd been under some... Um, uh, what's the what's the nicest way to say this? We've been under some pressure <laughs> to uh, <laughs> to provide some local talent here. Right, right. So, I can see that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, that's the thing. People tell you what they want around here, well, but it's yeah. good when you listen. That's yeah. the best part. But the one thing that hasn't run its course is the partnership with Food Bank for the Heartland. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Why was it important to keep that relationship? Well, you know, the summertime is one of the toughest, and I'll let Angie speak more about this. But the summer is one of the toughest times. Uh, f uh, for hunger mm -hmm. here in the heartland, which as surprising as that sounds. And so uh, we want to uh, do all we can to support mm -hmm. uh, the folks that uh, have less. So uh, you can buy food at the uh, concert. A portion of that goes to the food bank. And then you can always buy one of the world famous <laughs> Bank of the West Bears. Bank of the West Bears. So. Bob, every time he comes in, he leads with the bear. <laughs> I brought one back. So this me. money that comes in, Angie, you, of course there are a number of events throughout the year mm -hmm. that bring donations in, that bring money in for the food bank. What does this one night mean to you and the kind of difference you can make for those who need help? Well, as Bob was saying, um, the summertime is a particularly difficult time um, for hunger, mm -hmm. uh, for childhood hunger, because uh, children are out of school, they're not eating breakfast and lunch there. So families who are already on a very tight budget mm -hmm. are forced to make some difficult financial decisions, as well as this time of year just being, um, our, our donations at the food bank are down. Mm -hmm. So we're so happy to be able to partner with Bank of the West. This is our 10th year for the Celebrates America concert, and we're really able to raise um, a lot of resources and awareness mm -hmm. um, through the event, and we're so grateful. Yeah, the awareness is, is critical, but also money yeah, and yeah. donations uh, of food. How, how can visitors help in that regard? Is there gonna be a drop-off point for food, or are we not gonna do that? Well, we're, we are um, asking concert goers, um, to, you can go online to foodbankheartland.org and make a financial donation. Mm -hmm. For every dollar that uh, we collect, we're able to provide three meals mm -hmm. for those yeah. in need. And that's the point that I think is important to emphasize, because mm -hmm. if we go to the grocery store and we spend one dollar, we don't have the kind of buying power that yeah. you do to, to stretch that dollar to that extent. Mm -hmm. So just by making that donation, it goes so much farther than it would. And as generous as it is for you to take the time out to go to the store and buy the stuff and then drop it off in bins and of course that's awesome mm -hmm. it just goes even farther when yeah. you you text to donate or when you go to the website to donate it does. Yeah. We, we've not used the bins for a while because mm -hmm. there was always some confusion about what's the trash bin and what's the food that's bin right. That's right. right and so and once it goes in the trash bin unfortunately they cannot give it to the food right bank. No, so, we get so that. Uh, money's always good yeah Bob yeah. let's get to some of the details sure. uh, 
a lot of people there. Yeah. Uh, where do we park? Well, <laughs> we encourage everybody to carpool as much as they can and mm -hmm. park across the street at UNO. UNO is very, very generous to make their mm -hmm. property available to us. Mm -hmm. And please use the pedestrian bridge. Mm -hmm. Do not cross the oh, edge. No, no, no yes. frogger. No, yes. no. So. And then one thing as we look at this video, of course, the, the blankets down. Right. Uh, when, when can, what are the ground rules, I guess? When can they go down? Sure. What the stakes? What, what are the rules? Right. Well, the park opens at 5 in the morning. So they can put out uh, a blanket on Friday, on Friday, uh -huh. uh, the first. And uh, the only thing they can't do is they can't put stakes in the ground and they can't put any tarps down because mm -hmm. tarps will burn the grass. Mm -hmm. Okay, but starting at, at five o'clock that morning, and then yep. the show begins at six o'clock that night. Six o'clock music, uh, be and awesome. the AME Church is going to sing. And the your fireworks show play. is spectacular. J and M displays. The right? Yeah, they're, they're, they do a great job, uh, and yeah, they, they really light it up. Okay. Have, so, have a good have time a on Friday. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not that anybody needs to tell Bob. Oh, good. Good yeah, deal. Thanks True for coming. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having Great us. See you both. Thank you.